Hey, this is Jake with BZG Webs. Um, I just wanted to show you a video for the newer people who are just starting playing paintball. Um, I wanted to show you uh, what you should start off with buying and uh, how to buy paintball stuff and what paintball stuff is good for the price. Um, first up, the first thing you should ever buy is a paintball mask. Don't buy a crappy little paintball mask that seems like who cares if it'll be, if it'll be uncomfortable because it's ten bucks. Buy a pretty nice paintball mask. This is a uh, okay paintball mask. Its foam is great. Um, so, and uh. When you go into the store, ask if you can take it out of the box and feel the foam. If the foam feels like very, very uh, light and doesn't seem like it'll, um, doesn't seem like it's very durable foam and doesn't seem like it'll be very comfortable, don't buy it. And also, a lot of, if you see, the main thing is, for me, near the ears. If you can see near the ears, in this paintball gun, there is padding right there, right under where my fingers are. That's where the ears go. And there's some, it's not like foam padding, but it's comfortable and it's flexible padding. It's not like a hard, like, little thing to hold the mask together or something. Like, my last mask had that, and that absolutely stinks. I hated it. I think I might even buy a uh, different mask. Um, actually, the best mask you, you could probably buy is the V-Force Profiler. The Profiler is, I think, a $90 mask, but it is great. Um, also, the i4 is a good mask for 70 bucks. The Flex is a good mask. I mean, if you just go to, like, a sporting goods store like Dunham's or something, they'll have masks or your local paintball place will have masks, so you can ask him, them about it. Um, Tech PB, uh, Mike Phillips from Tech PB, if you search him up right now, he has a video on um, the different types of masks you can get for different prices. He mainly has expensive masks, but still. Okay, um, so, after you buy your mask, which is comfortable and durable, a good mask for not $10, um, Mike would say to buy a hopper, like a nice hopper, uh, but I would say buy an air tank, and I do not mean a CO2 tank. This is not what you're going to buy. You are going to buy a, um compressed air tank. Again, for this video, I know I, I've been missing my CO2 tank for a while, um, but it's good I haven't gone paintballing in a couple weeks, actually, because I've been missing it for a week or so, and I might be buying a new one soon, because I can't find it. Um, so, um, anyways, buy a CO2 tank, I mean a compressed air tank, do not buy a CO2 tank, I already showed, posted a video on why not to buy a CO2 tank, invest in a compressed air tank, trust me, they're more expensive, but trust me, and, uh, they're pretty much all around the same, some of them have different pressures, some people say, oh, buy the light pressure ones, because they're easier on your ASA, which is, for those of you who don't know what ASA is, I'm going to grab out a gun. My tip man is the one I use for most of my videos just because it's like, I usually, I don't know, I just do. Uh, this is an ASA, the thing that you screw your little tank into, the little thing you screw your tank into. It's an ASA. Um... So, anyways, this, also, uh, on-off ASAs are a lot better than normal ASAs like this. I, okay, so, 
Anyways, after you're done buying, and I'm not saying, oh, buy your gun first, then buy all this equipment. I'm s telling you the order of what you should buy. You should buy your gun last, and I'll get to that. Um, so, anyways, you should definitely buy a compressed air tank. Um, and then after you buy your compressed air tank, also, yeah, about the ASA thing, it, people say lighter, uh, tanks, like, less, with less pressure, like, um, ha are better for, are better for your ASA, and they won't break your ASA, or something like that, I don't know, but it's a lie. Uh, buy any one you want. I mean, if, if you're just starting out, it doesn't make a difference what type of tank you get, as long as you don't get a CO2 tank. Um, okay, and next up, what you would buy is, now you would buy a hopper. Now he would say as the third thing you'd buy, Mike Chrome Tech PB would say you should buy a pod pack, like this. That's a crappy little pod pack. I should really buy a new one, but that's all I have. I might, when my birthday rolls around, and I get some more money, because I have none right now. Uh, but, um, after that, you can buy, um, not, not a pack. I don't think you should get a pack until you're actually done buying your paintball gun, even. But, um, before you buy your pack, before that, after you buy your, um, uh, air tank, you should buy a hopper, a good hopper, probably the best hopper you can afford, you should buy. Um, a very good hopper, like a Pinocchio or a Halo. Actually, um, I like the, what are they called? The something and something junior, the, whatever. Anyways, the Pinocchio is a great one. That's a little pricey, but the Halo is good if you don't have as much money. Um, and stuff like that. Um, but get one that can feed, like, 20 balls per second at, around, uh, because you don't want one that can, a really, little crappy one that you get for, like, 20 bucks. Uh, the, I bought a Tipman one, actually, uh, that's not the one I use, though, I use a, I forgot the name of it, I forgot the name, and, uh, it's in the back of my closet behind a ton of other stuff that I don't want to try and pull it out, but, uh, the Tipman, anyways, the Tipman actually does feed, like, 18 balls per second, and I will show you that. I bought it for, like, 30 bucks, and it feeds 18 balls per second. It says, it says on the package 14 balls per second, but it does not. See? This is it. The Tipman right here. Okay. Just click the button, the light turns on. Nothing special about it. But anyways, after you're done buying that, a nice one like a Pinocchio or even a Halo, which isn't that nice, um you would buy after you buy all that, you should buy pads, definitely. You can probably already you probably already have like pads, I mean not specifically for paintballing, but still. Um then once you're done getting that stuff, you can finally get your paintball gun. And let me go through what I think you should buy. Don't buy a Titman. Not that they're oh, I just hit myself in the head with the gun. Not that they're terrible guns. But, um, it's just that they're... Just... Eh. I mean, I like the Tipman a little, but... If... I, that was my first gun, and if I would have bought myself my first gun instead of my dad buying it for my birthday, then I wouldn't have gotten the Tipman. Okay, so basically, 
as a first gun, depending on how much money you have. If you have in the two hundred dollar range, by the way, if you only have like one hundred dollars, don't buy a gun. Keep saving up. Um, if you have two hundred dollars in the two hundred to three hundred dollar range, then you could get a hmm. I think you could get a if you live in warm temperature, you could get the Proto SLG. Uh, uh, if you get one used, they can come for about two hundred bucks probably. Um, new, they come for like two fifty, but I don't know where where you're gonna find it new other than like Amazon.com um, or eBay or something because uh, they are two thousand nines and they already came out with the new. Uh, model, but if you don't have, if you live in, uh, places like, if you live in places that are colder, and you can't use that, well, don't use that because spool valve gun, but, uh, instead, oh, also you could get, like, the G4, the dangerous power G4, uh, that's all spool valve, though. A lot of the spool valves, uh, get, also you could get, like, um, probably a used mini for that price, for in the two to three hundred dollar range, because they only cost just about three hundred for, um, that's a good start off gun, uh, that's a pop valve gun. Also, you could get, uh, if you have enough money in, like, like 400 bucks, you could get a used ETEC. A used ETEC 3. Uh, the ETECs are very, very good guns. Um, what I would. What I would get was would probably be a used ETEC. Honestly. Actually, um, if you guys know what a. If you guys know what a ego is. Uh, Planet Eclipse Ego, it's pretty much the same thing. Some people say they like the E-Tech's better than the Egos. Better than the old Egos, at least. The 2008-2009 Egos. Uh, a lot of people say they like the E-Tech's better, and they're one-third the price. So, like, um, they're just about almost $500, uh, new, um, if you buy the one with the composite mater material, the LT, um, the other one, I don't know why you'd buy the other one, but the other one, um, it works pretty much, it works exactly the same, it just doesn't have as much composite material, which actually, composite material is better, because if you smash it against a rock, it won't break, it'll just bend and then go back into position. It, when it's not composite, it'll bend and then stay in that position. So, um, actually, you could also get, uh, let me think, there are other inverts, um, you could get, if you really, really don't have that much money, you could get a, like, a spider, I don't like spiders, but if you really are tight on money, then you could get a spider. Um, like, actually, the Piranha is, uh, wow, the best gun ever for its price. What is it, sixty, seventy dollars It doesn't have, actually, like, an E-grip. Um, I'm not quite sure if it has an E-grip, e but that wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. But still, sixty, seventy dollars for a paintball gun, wow, that's, like, so inexpensive. Also, um, I just recently bought my friend a, uh, a Avenger, I believe it was called. Aggressor. Yes, an aggressor. A spider aggressor paintball gun. Uh, that was with a whole pack of everything coming with it. Not a very good mask coming with it, but still, everything came with it, except also CO2 tank came with it, not a compressed air, and it was a stupid 9 ounce. Also, it came with a barrel plug. That was retarded. But whatever, um, so, I hope I gave you a good idea on how to start off your paintball, um, 
Thanks for watching.